Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. Someone posted this question online with the request, how to solve this crazy hard question. The roots of 2x squared minus x plus k is equal to zero are sine theta and cosine theta. What is the value of k? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two equivalent ways to solve the problem. The first uses Brahmagupta's quadratic formula. A general quadratic equation has the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. One root is x is equal to the opposite of b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and the other root will be the opposite of b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this particular quadratic equation, a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to k. So we just substitute into the formula. So we get that one root is equal to 1 plus the square root of 1 minus 8k, that's all over 4, and the other root is 1 minus the square root of 1 minus 8k all over 4. So where do we go from here? Well, the roots have square roots, so usually when we have square roots, we want to eliminate them by squaring the term somehow. And we know the roots are equal to sine theta and cosine theta. So we think about formulas with sine theta and cosine theta that are squared. And of course, we want to use sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So we will sum up the squares of these roots. That'll be equal to 1. So we square one root, add it to the square of the other, and we know that's equal to 1. So all that remains is to solve this equation. So let's work it out. Squaring the first term, we get 1 plus 2 times the square root of 1 minus 8k plus 1 minus 8k all over 16. Then we add the second term, which is 1 minus 2 root 1 minus 8k plus 1 minus 8k all over 16. And this is all equal to 1. Now we have some cancellations. The radical terms will cancel out because we have plus 2 times the radical and minus 2 times the radical. So we cancel these and then we just group like terms. So this all works out to be 4 minus 16k all over the same denominator 16 is equal to 1. We multiply both sides by 16, so we have 4 minus 16k is equal to 16. Now we subtract 4 from both sides, so negative 16k is equal to 12. And this means that k is equal to negative 12 over 16, which is equal to negative 3 over 4, which equals negative 0.75. And that's one way to get the answer. Now, I want to go over another way you could solve this problem. You could use the product and sum of roots formulas. So, in a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, the product of the two roots will be c over a, and the sum of the two roots will be negative b over a. So we have a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to k. So we substitute in that the product of the roots is equal to k over 2, and the sum of the roots is equal to 1 over 2. Now we also know the roots are sine theta and cosine theta. So sine theta times cosine theta is equal to k over 2, and sine theta plus cosine theta is equal to 1 over 2. So let's work from here. Now, what we'll do is we'll square the second equation. So we have the square of sine theta plus cosine theta, and that's equal to the square of 1 half, which equals 1 over 4. So we have sine squared theta plus 2 times sine theta cosine theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1 over 4. Now, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. And we know that sine theta times cosine theta is equal to k over 2. So 2 times that will be equal to k. So this simplifies to be 1 plus k is equal to 1 over 4. And that means k is equal to negative 3 over 4, which equals negative 0.75. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.